after an exhausting day, you slump in bed. You're finally home from work, and you deserve some rest. You got your paycheck today, and that's great. You dream about the things you'll do with your money, and now it's finally here. But then, you turn on your bed. Suddenly, you think about how you will spend your hard-earned money. Will you save? Will you invest? Or will you spend it? You're exhausted because you were working for that paycheck. And now that it's here, you don't really know what to do with it. Much less escape the dire reality you're put in. Today's topic at Wealth Box Academy will discuss how to become rich by doing this with your paycheck. We hope that by the end of this video, you'll know the steps to take to build your wealth, starting with your paycheck. Coming up at number one is budgeting. Making a budget is the first thing you must do with your paycheck, and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is note down any expenses incurred for the month. As you write them down, think of all the things you'll need to spend on and finalize them. After that, you can proceed to plan your budget. When planning a reasonable budget, it's recommended to use the 50-30-20 rule. What's that? It means 50% of your budget goes to essentials such as groceries and utilities. Then, 30% goes to excesses such as outings or new clothes. Finally, the 20% left goes to savings or investments. But to be honest, it's not recommended just to let your money sit under your mattress or in your bank account. You can put it in a high-yielding savings account if you're unsure what to do with it. Taking advantage of how banks work is a way to become rich. And if you want to be one someday, you have to put the remainder of your paycheck into an account. This is one of the ways wealth is built. The rich don't let their money idle. And we can learn a thing or two from them. They use it to make their money work for them. Number two, have some self-control. Imagine you just got your paycheck and your job is well-paying. You then proceed to budget that money. 40% goes to everything you would need and want for the month. Clothes, groceries, rent, and the rest goes to your savings. Then, after getting paid, you find yourself spending more than your allotted budget. After paying bills, you're left with a little under 40% of your check. How did that happen? Maybe you were a little under the weather and need to cheer yourself up with some new shoes. It might be impulsive buying, or you need to pay up a loan from a friend. It might even be just an emergency. But everything boils down to avoiding being irresponsible with your money. Now there are payments that you really need to take into account, like utilities such as electricity and water. And then there's also a need for recreation, like streaming subscriptions or the internet bill. Of course, all work and no play makes a person dull. The advantage of being careful about how you spend your money means you can moderate your income and carefully assess how much goes into something. You should always find the right balance between your investments and spending. By the time you notice this, you'll eventually end up saving a lot of money just by being disciplined. Number three, having a goal mapped. Now that you have established a budget and have the self-control to avoid buying things you don't need, you can now map your goal. Most of you who are watching can agree with me on this one. Saving is useless if you don't have a reason to do it in the first place. We can organize your goal by splitting it into three categories, the short, intermediate, and long-term goals. By doing this, you can now focus on what you really need to do as soon as possible, while also taking note of the things you need to do in the near future. It's important to pair this with a budget in mind and note it down. Most people have a goal in mind but forget to put it in writing, and then the thought is lost forever. Some people even have goals in mind without really going into details, and they might not even be viable or relevant to what they really need to do. It's imperative that you put it in writing so you can think about it clearly later. Number four, side incomes. A wise man once said, if you're good at something, never do it for free. And this is true in most cases. 
A side income supplementing your day job is a great way to start your road to riches. Why? Because only relying on your paycheck is never enough to build your wealth. And you can earn money in a lot of ways. Aside from investing, buying, and selling, you can even write for agencies if you have a passion. You can even explore art and sell your paintings. You might even be a diamond in the rough just waiting to be discovered. The bottom line is that another source of income that can be translated into investments is something you should aim for. Find something you're good at and make money off of it. Hi there! Are you enjoying the video so far? If you're interested in similar content, please like the video and subscribe by clicking the notification bell so you can be updated whenever we post more videos. Number 5. The Right Insurance An insurance plan can save you from a world of financial ruin. Its purpose is to safeguard you from risks such as health problems or car accidents. Imagine you did the smart thing and your house is insured. Then all of a sudden, there's a faulty socket in the basement and a fire breaks out. You escape unharmed, but your house is all but burnt to the ground. Your insurance company will cover the damages you have incurred, and you basically have a safety net for your investments. That's the beauty of insurance. To top it all off, you can even pay in small installments. You can even insure everything you own, from your house, your car, your health, and other things. You just need to take your time picking the right one. Number 6. Cutting back on taxes If you're earning well from your paycheck and have multiple side incomes in place, then you're already making more than others. Now there's just one tiny problem. Tax bills. Whether you're a millionaire or just starting out, taxes can dent your path to riches. However, what you can do is utilize your tax savings to the fullest. There are several ways you can do that, from tweaking your W-4 form to the savings in your 401,000 account. The goal is to have less taxable income so you can pay less in taxes. Another way to save on taxes is to contribute to the IRA, FSA, or save for any tertiary education. These can result in you paying fewer taxes and in turn, saving you more money in the long run. Number 7. Thorough Research After cutting back on taxes, you should look for things to invest in. Having the right investment tools can make or break your wealth. But knowing when to get on and off the train is also essential. Why? Picture this. Imagine you and your friends decided to make some money off the stock market. They had initial success and you had some pretty bad investments. You then pour more money into more stocks you think will rise. After a while, your investments are on a roll. The stock is at an all-time high and your money is snowballing. You hold and you and your friends enjoy the profits. And then, the traction died down. There was a dip and you lost all your investments in a single night. Your friends also lost everything. Before investing, you should organize your goals as in number three and then classify them. Short-term goals will be in debt. Long-term goals will be in equity. And moderately long-terms will be a mix of both. This is temporary until you master the concepts of liquidity, returns, and liabilities. This is to maximize your profits because debt is for short-term capital security, while equity is for people who can play the long game. Number 8. Investing Wisely After knowing numbers 1 to 8, the only thing left to do is actually to invest in something or someone. And what better way to do that than to invest in your friends? It's recommended that you invest in friends you trust with your life and know how a business works. The reason is that you have known them personally for so long that you can accurately predict how your investment will go. If they know what they're doing, that's great! You've found a keeper, and you should invest in their business venture as much as possible. You could even go as far as being a silent partner. Of course, there's no harm in doubting and doing your homework. 
You should always watch every business move with due diligence. You should also invest in businesses that you know will be successful and be the crutches it needs to grow along with your bank account. On top of making money, you have a friend who shares your success. And that includes our video on how to become rich. Do this with your paycheck. Do you think these are the ways to become rich with just your paycheck? How do you spend every penny in your salary? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.